guys, Pastor Kelly here from New Beginnings Church. I'm doing this video for Banks First Baptist, who has a, been supporting us for a long time now. And I just want to kind of share with you guys this morning on what all God has been doing in our lives and in our ministry. We've recently filed a separate nonprofit status ministry, a 501c3 nonprofit. It's still us at New Beginnings. We're still doing the same old thing, but God is calling us to do it. Uh, in a more intense way and up our game in Isaiah 45 the Lord said I'm gonna give you hidden treasures and secret places treasures hidden in darkness so to speak and so we have purchased this house right next to our church it's 909 Bell Plain Street and uh, and I believe even though it looks like a rundown old house and it needs a lot of work this is gonna be a ministry house. And so we've recently purchased this and I'm gonna be sharing more in just a minute about uh, what we need and what else going on here. But uh, just to kind of give everybody a rundown of what we do, uh, we serve about 3,000 pounds of food a month. We will hit probably roughly 100 families a month and three or 400 people a month that we feed. We currently have four guys that live at the church, well five, and then we have a lady that's that's back and forth that live at our church, that live on our campus, and we have been uh, sheltering the homeless now for five or six years, solid, and somebody lives here all the time, and so rather than have them the way we have them now, we've secured this property, and we're gonna make a ministry house out of this, and, and I believe God is leading us to do this, and we're really, really excited about it, but I uh, appreciate all your support and all your help. Our food pantry, like I said, serves a lot of people every month. We have calls every day from the Brownwood Police, from Family Service Center, from MHMR, uh, people that are transient or people that are homeless or have hit hard times that need a place to stay. And we do our best to fulfill scripture. And, and when the word says, you know, I was hungry and you fed me, I was homeless, you gave me shelter. I was naked and you clothed me. We try our best to accommodate all these things. We give away tons and tons of coats and blankets a year and clothes. Uh, anybody that needs something, they give me a call. If we can't do it, we know somebody that can. And so you guys have been a big part of this for a long time. And I just want to say how grateful I am to First Baptist Church in Bangs and, and all of your support, mainly all of your prayers and everything that you've done to, to help us with this ministry. God bless you and thank you so much. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. And so I'm gonna be sharing in another clip uh, the inside of the house and everything we need, but it was a miracle how we got it. And it's just been a miracle. And like I said, one more time, this may look like a rundown old junky house to, to, to some people, but to me, I see it as a treasure. To me, I see it as something God is gonna take and gonna bless and it's so gonna be to a So I wanna try to give you guys just a brief tour of the, the house. Uh, the house is uh, run down, but structurally it's not in too bad a shape. Uh, this is the front room, living room, obviously. We need new windows uh, and just cosmetic. We need paint and stuff like that. The biggest problem this house has is it needs to be completely rewired. And so that's what we're trying to do uh, is get it completely rewired. It needs total new wiring, uh, front to back, top to bottom. And uh, the issue we're having, we're trying to work and find a electrical contractor that will work with us. We have some uh, journeyman electricians and a master electrician that has offered to help and do this, but we just need an electrical contractor that will help us with our permits and make sure everything is done properly and cross all the T's and dot all the I's. And we wanna do this right and we wanna do it all uh, as best we can. And so some of the things we need, but this is the living room. Uh, this is a dining room and it's, again, we need windows. Structurally, this uh, house is not in bad shape, but it needs paint, needs some sheetrocking needs some, uh, like we have a hole in the ceiling there, needs to be fixed. But we have a bedroom here, it just needs to be repainted, nothing really wrong in this room. The roof is sound, it doesn't leak. The roof is only about four or five years old. Here's the front bedroom here, middle bedroom here. Again, the living room and dining room. The kitchen is not in bad shape at all, it just needs to be cleaned. Structurally, again, it's good, it doesn't leak. 
This is a little breezeway here. I think at one point this was probably a back porch on the old version of the house. As you can see, this is the back door going in. Bathroom, I don't know how much light we have here. Bathroom is not in bad shape. Uh, a lot of this stuff is fairly new. Uh, shower stall, bathroom, and sink is not bad at all. Again, it just needs cosmetics. This back bedroom is in rough shape. We need to replace the windows and we need to resheet rock and, and, and shore up these walls. The house needs to be leveled on this corner a little bit. Again, though, it may look like a dump to most people, but when I look at it, I see a gold mine, a place where we can help people start over, a place, place where we can give people a safe environment and a godly environment to thrive in. And so we appreciate, again, everybody's support, mainly everybody's prayers. This is the outside of the back of the house. Not bad, really and truly. You can see it's got a fairly new metal roof on it that does not leak. It's got a good sized backyard. And so the potential here, of course, we have this carport slash breezeway. So our biggest problem again is electrical. We need an electrical contractor that will help us and work with us so we can get this thing done right. We have two or three journeymen electricians in our church. We had one master electrician that is willing to help us. But again, we need an electrical contractor to be able to pull the permit so we can do this all above board and right and properly. This was a hidden treasure in a secret place. This is a treasure out of darkness that I believe that God wants to use as a light to the world and a light to our community. And again, thank you all so much for supporting and being a part of this. And again, in closing, guys, I just want to say thank you one more time uh, for helping us. We appreciate all your prayers, all your support, all your help, your contributions, everything involved. We are very, very grateful to you for it. Again, we have filed a separate 501c3 nonprofit. It's still Pastor Kelly here. It's still New Beginnings Church doing it. But this house will be called the Brownwood House of Refuge. Uh, the new ministry is Brownwood House, Inc., and it's a separate nonprofit entity than the church. Still us. We're still working for the kingdom, still doing everything we can. So if anybody has any questions about how to get involved or support, uh, just give me a holler. Give me a call. My number, 325-642-4096. You can call me, shoot me a text. We can meet. Anybody's welcome to come look at the place. It's located at 909 Bell Plain Street in Brownwood. It's just right across the street from our church. It's right on the back side of our parking lot there. And so uh, our biggest need right now, again, is an electrical contractor that will help us with the permit and get this thing done. We have pretty much a donation that will cover most of the, of the wiring and the breaker boxes, breakers, conduit, all that kind of stuff. We have journeyman electrician in our church and a master electrician that has agreed to help us with this and but we just need an electrical contractor that can help with the permit and oversee this thing we want to make sure we have all of our i's dotted and our t's crossed and make sure this thing is done to perfection and it'll be safe and sound and again god bless you guys thank you so much for all of your support thank you so much for all your prayers again it's 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 all part of the kingdom and and making a big difference in our community and, and making a difference for the kingdom of god and for the lord jesus christ god bless you guys again